Hello everyone. Um, so I've decided that like once a week I think I'm gonna put up a video about like nothing, well not nothing, but just like non-music related, no covers, no songs or anything. Just to kind of like talk and interact with you guys and kind of just like to vent because sometimes, you know, a girl just needs to vent. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, if I seem distracted, it's because I'm on iTunes right now. I'm just searching iTunes. <gasps> oh no. Demi Lovato Skyscraper dropped down to number three. Alright, people. Go listen to Demi Lovato Skyscraper. Go buy it. Because it's so good. So, like, mm, I can't even tell you. I just, it's beautiful. Um, so go do that. Because you really should. So, yeah. So this first video is going to be a rant pretty much. I'm gonna put on some music in the background. Actually I'm gonna put on skyscraper for you guys. Okay. So it's gonna be a rant about my job. I hate my job. Like I sound like spoiled and everything and I should be grateful that I even have a job because a lot of people don't have jobs right now. But I just can't stand it. Like it's so annoying. Um I'm a cashier at Wallbaums. I work at Wallbaums. I don't like it. <laughs> it's not that it's like a bad job or that it's hard or like demanding or something or I get like, I don't know, treated badly. I mean, I do sometimes, but it's just that it's annoying. I mean, there's only so long that I can ring up your groceries. Like, I just, I don't have the attendance span to stand there for like four to eight hours and just bring up people's stinking groceries like honestly it's so upsetting especially like now during the summer all I bring up is hot dogs burgers burger buns hot dog buns and alcohol like and like fruit platters and stuff and like I see all these people getting ready to have their parties and everything and I'm not going to one because I'm at work but anyway that's like not the worst part about it, but it's just like, do you know how annoying it gets to constantly ask, hi, how are you? Do you have your Wallbaums car with you today? Like seriously, sometimes I think I ask myself that in my sleep, like so annoying. I like my nails, just got them done. I really like the color. Anyway, um, and here's what bothers me the most. I am a nice person when I'm ringing people up. Like, I ask them how they're doing, I ask them how their day is, like, I'm nice to them. But if you're not nice to me, I'm not going to be nice to you. I'm not going out of my way to treat you like a good person if you're not a good person. Like, seriously, some people think that just because I'm ringing up their groceries, I'm the scum of society. I'm not. Bitch, I'm your cashier. I am not your servant. So I'd just like to point that out to you. Like, some woman the other day told me to go get an attitude check. You should do the same thing because I was very nice to you and just because you didn't hear the right change, like, I'm sorry. Like, she got mad at me because her change was like 33 cents and she gave me 30 and I give her her change and she was like, this is wrong. And I was like, well, I told you it was 33 cents and you only gave me 30 and she's like, well, obviously I heard 30. Anyway, I'm over it, but still, yeah. So it's just like, I don't know. It stinks. But, like, the only good thing is that, like, I have really good people that I work with. I've formed, like, a lot of friends at work, and they're not all that bad. I mean, some people at work are just straight up weird, and, like, I have to work with them, and some of them are, like, just flat out annoying. Like, there's this one woman, and she comes in. Usually she comes in late. Alright, first of all, don't be tardy, because... Usually when you're coming in, I'm leaving and I would like to go home. So if you could just show up on time, that'd be great. But, um, yeah. And the other thing is, like, she's so slow. So slow. Like, honestly, I didn't know people could be that slow at writing others up. Like, my manager has, make, like, sometimes she makes sure that I'm, like, on register because she's just so slow and she's holds everything up. So I hate that. Like, that's the one thing I get complimented for at my job, is because I'm really fast and, like, get people the hell out of there. 
That's not for your convenience. That's because I just don't want to see you anymore. So yeah. And another thing that bothers me is when I'm working the U scan, which is like the self checkout thingies, and people are just so stupid. They don't read anything. Like, <sighs> oh my god. Our machines are really old, right? So they like they crap out sometimes. You know, it happens. So we put up a sign that says, you know, you can use these, but give the cash to the cashier standing at the little podium. Well, people, they'll do their order, and then they'll go to end their order and, like, hit the cash option, and the cash option's not there. Like, there's an X on the part that says cash because you can't put the cash in the machine. And they're like, what the heck? This is just terrible. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I already bagged all my groceries, blah, 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 blah. Sweetheart, if you just read the sign, that is right in front of your face. Like, literally, like, here's your face, here's the sign. Like, you can't miss it. I'm sorry, but you're just dumb. You're either dumb or illiterate. Or you just like being a jackass. <laughs> so, just a little lesson for you people. Read signs. Another thing is, when we tell you not to touch the bags, don't touch the bags. We tell you that for a reason. If you have your hand on the bag, you're not going to be able to ring up your groceries because the whole entire thing goes by weight. So if it senses the weight of your hand, like, it's not going to let you ring stuff up. So, I don't know. That's just a day in the life of Wallbaums. It's annoying sometimes, but some of my friends there keep me, I can't say sane because I'm not sane at all, like, any level of my life, but they keep me a little grounded. Do you like the song? Okay, um, this is a really good song actually. It's called Flaws by Caitlin Crosby. And if it sounds kind of familiar, that's because it was on the show Make It or Break It. And they played it during Lauren's bar routine when uh, her dad came onto the floor and told her that her mom actually wanted to see her for, I think it was nationals, but that her dad, Steve Tanner, sent him sent her away and she died it was really sad so she performed her bar routine and dedication of her mom it's really cute so yeah all right i guess it's enough ranting for right now because it's 12 o'clock in the morning and i have to go to sleep so all right if you guys like this video you can like comment and subscribe and tell people about me tell your friends you know if you're bored you can watch me okay bye guys